Hi guys, 18 Dapper here, episode 6 of the advent calendar, the 21st of December, so close to Christmas day, and Vicky, she had a gin and tonic last night, let's see what her thoughts were, because she videoed herself. Hello, so I am having a gin tonight, it looks like water, but I promise it is gin, and it is that one, oriental spiced. It's pretty good. So that's Vicky's thoughts. Let's get the video started. So, 21st of December. Let's get her open. All bottles from here till Christmas. And this one is... Have we ever had it? We have. Well, we've had... We've had a Camden before, and that's what this is, Camden, uh, versus Wicked Weed, Wicked Weed, I think that says Wicked Weed, Wicked Weed. So, collaborations between breweries are a hugely important element in the craft beer. They bring together the expertise of each brewery, in this case, Lager Masters Camden Town, and wild ale experts Wicked Weed join together for this bold IPA. There we go, it's an IPA, Vicky. Chris and Rachel like that, that it's another IPA. Uh, percentage, 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 can't see it. 5.6%. And last night's beer at 12.5%. It got harder and harder to drink, but we had, what did we have for dinner? Liver? Yeah. Lamb liver? Drinking it with lamb liver was <laughs> beautiful. So I would have that again, but it's one of those beers that you can't drink a lot of. But is this uh, Camden and Wicked Weed? And that is a very, very nice beer. What have you got, Vicky? Edgerton, original pink gin. <laughs> Edgerton? Edgerton. Edgerton, pink gin, original pink. There we go. Like pink gin, don't you? Try Camden versus Wicked Weed. Standard. Yeah, it's very standard, standard IPA. Quite like it. Um, are you drinking tonight? Yeah. Seeing as you've finished for Christmas. I've finished work. So we're not back until January. Happy days. So Vicky will sort herself a drink out and we'll taste it. Almost forgot, start of a new video, Vicky. What do we get? Information. People wouldn't have been happy missing the gym formation. <coughs> so I think <coughs> we've, had a, we've had the one about Quinny, we've had the one about botanicals, we've had the one about salary. How about this one? Which one? This one. The earliest written reference to a juniper based tonic drink. The earliest written reference to a junior based tonic drink was way back in the 1260s in a Dutch natural history manuscript. <laughs> De Naturen Blum. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there's my Dutch. De Naturen Blum. Um, 17th century gin became popular for its rumoured medicinal properties. It was sold in pharmacies and was said to be able to help remedy stomach ailments, gout and gallstones. Don't think we've had that one either. So that leaves... Have, have we said that? Maybe. That leaves that one for the last video. Well, we've got two for the last couple of videos. So there's your information. We'll make a drink and try it. 
and Charlie's involved. Charlie. Hello. You've got a big bottle of Gordon's pink gin, haven't you? So we already knew that she'd like this one. I already know that I'm gonna like this. It's very nice. It's very refreshing. Something different to a dry gin, isn't it? Mm. So, there we go. 21st of December. Vicky starts a holiday for Christmas. So we'll try and catch up with the rest of the gins over the weekend. Try another two tomorrow. I might help you get rid of the cup. Yeah. Two tomorrow. I might help you with one. But then there might be as well. So this episode is going to be the 21st, 22nd and 23rd. And then there's going to be episode 7, which is the 24th. And our thoughts on the old calendar and our favourite. You're going to do your favourite of each week, aren't you? I might do my favourite of each week. I may just do my favourite overall. Let us know what you want to see in the comments down below. <coughs> so, it's still the 21st. Yes. Yes, it's the 21st. And I've had my beer. It was very, very, very nice. Enjoyed it. But there's a film on that me and Vic wanted to watch. So, we're having another gin and tonic. But one each. So this will help us catch up. So. As you just saw, Vicky jumping around, plum and vanilla. This is the Edinburgh Gin Plum and Vanilla. And then uh, you're having the Very plummy. Very nice. <coughs> and then I will have the Lakes. Which is uh, just a dry gin. I need some ice. Pop a little bit of ice in the glass. What tonic do you want, Vic? I am gonna go with. With mine, I'm going to go with Mediterranean tonic. Vicky is finishing off her elderflower. Yeah. <coughs> Topped up with that. And his straw. Mm. Mm. That nice taste like pop. <laughs> I don't have much of a drink. I don't want to share this. Oh, it does. That's a good one. That's nice. And then the uh, the lakes. special. I think maybe if we'd have tried that one first before the plum. Yeah, this this one kind of outshines the other ones. Yeah, it's quite overpowering that one. But as far as a, a dry gin goes, it's quite nice. So we're catching up. How many behind are you now, Vic? Seven. Seven. We've got seven gins to catch up in the next three days. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. 22nd of December. Just got back from football. Football vlog is uploaded. Finished 2-2. Last 
kick of the game. In fairness, Oxford were the better team, but I've come home. Vicky, she's in there. <laughs> Cooked dinner and sorted out as a, a couple of gins. So we've got the Masons Tea Edition. Didn't see that the first time round. And uh, the Tanqueray. I'm guessing you've got Tanqueray. That's alright. Very nice dry gin. I've tried it in Vicky's glass. It was very, very nice. And then we've got the tea edition. Now I tried this, I didn't know it was tea edition. It does taste like tea. It does. It tastes like cold, yeah. fizzy tea. That's the problem. I know we're from Yorkshire and we love our tea, but we don't enjoy a cold brew. We York. like a nice warm brew. Dry Yorkshire gin tea edition, so it must have some Yorkshire tea in there. And I like my cup of tea strong where this tastes like someone's just literally dunked the tea bag in and took it straight out of water. What do you think? It's an odd one. I quite like it though. You do? Yeah. Oh. It's... You can taste the tea. And, when I'm on holiday, <laughs> what do I love, Vicky? I love sniffing cup of tea. I love a good cup of tea. So, on to the beer advent calendar. Have you opened your yeah. 22nd? So mine, <coughs> 22nd, is Sip Smith again. Uh, dry gin. So, I enjoyed the last one I had. So I know I will hopefully enjoy that one. We've got a Charlie Bum. Same dog. Just been cut. Look at how different he looks. <laughs> Look at that beautiful face. We've got to show you <laughs> this a beautiful face. Minus the massive eyebrows. Look at the beautiful face. Charlie. Look at that beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Good job, because I've let him go. <laughs> um, we have got Tempest Brewing Company. Um, Ranachan, Ranachan wee heavy with raspberry. Um, Six percent product of Scotland. Never had a tempest. Um, a wee heavy is, as you probably guessed, a Scottish style of beer. It's a strong, rich, malty, dessert-like beer. Tempest Brewing Company has combined these flavours with those of Ranachan, the fruity dessert, with whisky. I like a bit of whiskey. I like beer. Never been to Scotland, but we are going to Scotland. So we might see this one in Edinburgh. Charlie getting involved. Ooh, that's quite nice. I think you'll like this one. It's very fruity. It's not too heavy, even though it says we heavy. It's a middle of the road one, I think. Yeah. It's not anything special, but it's not anything horrible as well. So, gonna enjoy this. Gonna watch another film. Second gin of the night, we have got Eamon's London Dry Gin. You tried it? Yeah. I haven't yet. Sweet. It's very nice. Mm, yeah. yeah. Very sweet. 
going to enjoy this before bed and we will see you tomorrow for the final day of this episode 23rd of December close to Christmas Vicky Um, and tomorrow might show you our tree because we're not showing you this episode we do like a, a memory tree don't we so we'll show you how it's decorated we'll show you what's from where see you tomorrow yeah guys it's Christmas Eve Eve 23rd of December and this is the last day of this episode, 23rd. Oh. We've got a left, and this is one that I have never tried. Um, it's a winter beer. And this is convenient because uh, I've got some left in the fridge. So, Leff is one of the most recognisable Belgian breweries and traces its brewing history back to Notre Dame, the Leff Abbey in 1240. The Abbey and brewery were closed during the French Revolution, but the brewery re-established in 1952. So, there you go. A little bit of information about that. 6.6%. One that I've never tried. I've tried Leff. Um, Brun, Ruby. What's the one in the fridge, Vic? Blonde. Yeah, blonde. Yeah. I think so, yeah. And this one, left winter. Yeah. Smells very nice. Also, tastes very nice. You trying it, Vic? <laughs> Very similar to blonde. Yeah, it doesn't taste any different than others. Mm, but I don't want to cheese. Fizzed up. <coughs> um, and Vicky, got your gin. What have we got today? Williams again. This is elegant. So I think the last one was the dry one, was it? The last one? Was it the bottle green? Yeah. Because the bottle's black on this one, but it is a clear gin. Yeah. Elegant. 48%. Don't want it. No, we like gin. So with it almost being Christmas, I did say yesterday that we'd show you through our memory tree, uh, give you a couple of things. So this bauble here, we've got this, well, I say it's a bauble, more of them are key rings than anything else. Um, so we've got Crete from our holiday, uh, vlogs are on the channel. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a bauble which says Dan, Vicky and Charlie Bob. Uh, we bought Charlie in 2014, first Christmas with him. We got that bauble. Um, we enjoy going to Staithes, so it's a little village up in the north east of England. Um, so we've got a lifeboat operator. What else have we got? The Harry Potter school emblem from our trip to the making of Harry Potter. Again, vlog is on the channel. Then we've got a New York apple from 2016. Went over before my cousin's wedding, which was very, very, very good. So we've got a, uh, a proper bauble while we're over there. Um, any more Vic? Uh, where is it? Oh yeah. And if you saw our trip to Blackpool, uh, again, vlog is on the channel. Won the Camel Derby, Keyring, Cos Vicky. 
is very good at camel derbies, so that's why we've got that. So that's our tree. Um, Vicky will be pouring a couple of gin and tonics tonight. How many have you got left, Vic? Four? Five. Four or five. So we'll have a couple of gin and tonics tonight and try them and we'll let you know how they are. So we've got a couple of gin and tonics made up. Vicky's done them. Thank you very much. We've got the Edinburgh gin with uh, raspberry liqueur. Very nice. Oh, have you already tried it? Yeah? There's a bit left in there. Oh, that is very nice. You can taste the raspberry. It's lovely. Which one's that? <coughs> got a very nice colour to it as well. No. But, no. no, it softens a bit, but, but it is nice. Um, and then we've got Chase, Pink Grapefruit, and Pomelo Gin. Zippy and Zesty. Zippy and Zesty. That also comes through quite strong. Mm. Yeah, that's got a bit of kick. And that's in this glass, nice and clear. A couple of blueberries in there. And that's with a elderflower tonic. Well, the uh, grapefruit still comes through mm. really strong. Yeah, elderflower tonic. But still getting that pink grapefruit coming through very nicely. So, how many have we got left to catch up for? Four. So, there's uh, four left to catch up. Five, we'll, including tomorrow. Yeah, there's tomorrow's as well. Um, so we'll be having another gin and tonic tonight, but that will be the start of the final video in this series, episode 7. Um, if you're enjoying this, big thumbs up for us please. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you do subscribe, don't forget to click the little bell button to make sure that you're notified whenever any new content comes out. Um, comments in the section down below. We do enjoy reading them, don't we? I think me more so. Um, and we will see you tomorrow for Christmas Eve and the final video in the series. Sad that it's ending. It's been a boozy December. We've enjoyed it, haven't we? We'll see you tomorrow.